the biggest news that a Real Madrid fan can get for the upcoming season is that Tony Cruz is set to renew. Yes, you're hearing it right. 100% correct. Tony Cruz will be playing for one more season at Real Madrid. He's 100% assured and confirmed by Fabrizio Romano that the official talks have been done for the signings and the official document is left. For playing with Germany, the two international games, and he will mostly be starting for Germany in the Euros, Tony Cruz has shown no slowing down and he will play for Madrid for one more year. And that's great news for all the Madrid stars all over the world. With the nine matches to go and a 12-point lead against the arch rivals Barcelona, Real Madrid stay at the top of the table and has a match to play against a better rivals with Atletico Bilbao. The major concern for the match against Atletico Bilbao is that Kamavinga got injured during the last match against France. He twisted his ankle and in the previous test that had been carried out, he saw that it was a pain in the ankle and it is swollen, but it's not that something injurious and that it's something worthy of to be considered. Kamavinga will play, but it's not sure whether he will start or not. The other major concern against this big match is that Vinicius Jr. who received a yellow card, he received five yellow cards and will be suspended for the match against Atletico Bilbao. Although Real Madrid appealed for that yellow card, but the RFEF, the official referee committee, has said that it won't be declined and Real, and Real Madrid and Vinicius Jr. will be suspended for the match against Atletico Bilbao. With this setbacks, the major concern is who will step up at this moment. And the biggest good news is that Jude Bellingham, the man with the most goals at Real Madrid in La Liga this season, and also the top scorer for Real Madrid this season will start the game and is officially back after his two-game red card ban that he received for appealing against the referee. Yes, Jude Bellingham will be back and that's the great news for Madrid stars. It is also confirmed that Brahim Diaz will start. Brahim Diaz will start with Rodrigo in front with Jude Bellingham as the attacking midfielder. In the midfield, they will have Shuameni, Valverde and Tony Cruz because we have mostly seen the recent matches in against the oppositions Ancelotti is going to start with that midfield of Chouameni, Cruz and Valverde. Although Modric, Modric will come from the bench but it is also 100% sure that Modric is not going to start these matches because the form that Tony Cruz Valverde is in there is guaranteed that they will start the match. In the back line it's Kavahal that is sure to start in the right back and Mendy whom Ancelotti is considered as one of the best defensive fullback in the current generation. He will surely start a high intensity match with both the wings or Atletico Bilbao where Nico Williams and Iñaki Williams, the both the Williams brothers play, can cause damage and hence Kamavinga and hence Chuameni will have to play an important role in the CDM to cover up the right back and the left back position for Kavahal and Mendy. In, in the centre backs, we can start with Adam Militao. But the major doubt is that he had practice with the team, but he's not 100% guaranteed to start the match. It's a long-term injury with an ACL injury, he's coming back. It's a good news also that he will be fit for the match against City. Maybe he can be fit against the match for the City, but he will start at the bench. The two centre-back pairing can be Nacho and Rodrigo, And the goalkeeper will be Andre Lunin, who played with Ukraine and helped Ukraine to qualify for the Euros. Lunin has been in good form with the absence of Kotua. And in the recent meniscus injury that Kotua received in the other knee, he is ruled out for the entire season. So Lunin has to step up now. And with his recent performances, he has also shown that Lunin is a great, great backup for Kotua. And Madrid is also planning to have offer renewal offers whose contract is going to be over in 2025. Some other renewal news according to this is Nacho and Lucas Vasquez are going to receive renewal offers and mostly the documents will be signed in the upcoming weeks. Uh, the match versus Bilbao is an important one as it will help to maintain the 12 point leads hoping that Barcelona can and uh, with 9 matches to go it is the season end where Madrid have to play well to get that point. Some important news regarding the transfer that Mbappe's transfer saga is, will be coming to an end. He said that before the Euros his decision will be officially made. And so there is nothing to worry. Madrid fans, there is nothing to worry. Kylian Mbappe will join Real Madrid, that's for sure. And another good news is that Alfonso Davis, who wanted to help talks with Bayern Munich and is demanding a high salary with Bayern Munich board is not ready to pay. And they have asked Davis to bring a club that can talk to them. And Real Madrid, a potential suitor for him, 
is officially going to talk with Bayern Munich and it's officially going to look like that Alfonso Davis is coming to Real Madrid. It's mostly, it's going to happen sooner or later, but Alfonso Davis will not renew with Bayern Munich and he'll come to Real Madrid. Brahim Diaz will start for sure with his recent games against Morocco. He has shown he's a good potential and will start ahead of Joselu. Joselu will come from bench, but uh, let's see what happens with the match against Bilbao because Athletic Bilbao is a great team. They have been playing well and they have been in the fourth spot, chasing that fourth championship spot. And Atletico Madrid, who has been pushed down to fifth position, Athletic Bilbao has shown great potential this whole season. And uh, in the upcoming matches, Atletico Bilbao can pose potential dangers. So let's predict. My prediction for the upcoming match is that Madrid can go with a 2 0 win. And the goal scorer can be Jude Bellingham and Rodrigo. Rodrigo has played well in the match against Brazil, so he can be a good match. 